please watch this video. God sent to Moses attached the forbidden fruit. He came down angrily and started shouting and calling out Adam's name. Adam! Adam! Where art thou? And Anita answered, God, I am here and I'm naked. Anihoya, in which Bible? This is just one of the extracts from this movie titled A Taste of Sin. And first, I must commend all the actors and actresses, the producer of this movie, and to God's servant, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. God bless you. God bless you for reaching out to the body of Christ. God bless you for your words of impact in the movie. The Lord keep you strong in himself till the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now, I'm going to be analyzing a lot of things from this video and I recommend this video to all ministers. Um, um, whatever title you're bearing, I'm recommending this movie to the entire body of Christ. It's not just for pastors or for the titled ministers. It is also for everyone in the fold, everyone in the body of Christ. I'm going to be speaking on the families of these two actors in the movie, Pastor Ted and Pastor Teddy. Pastor Teddy happens to be the man of God who was fighting the spirit of lust. And the other pastor, Pastor um, Todd, person of um, uh, Majid, was the one who was flung, who was in ministry for the very wrong reasons. Now, something happened first to the, um, to the wife of Pastor Teddy who unknowingly for a long period of time had a womb removed but she was never knowledgeable about this fact until medical checks were done now i do not rule out the place of medicine in our daily living in fact i give high credence for us to go medical so we can understand how much and how to channel our prayers whenever we pray all right god bless you something happened that when the woman not knew from the doctor's report that a womb was removed did you did you notice that pastor teddy did not leave her alone but rather embraced her this is us this is god saying to us now that regardless of your past is not going to leave you now he said remember you not the formatting to your sins where as red as crimson i would make it as well as no meaning god is not rejecting you because of the past things you've done before this is god speaking to you to say come home and there was this touching scene that happened when um pastor teddy came home and the wife was crying and all that and instead of leaving the man in the midst of the pain, instead of leaving her husband in the midst of the criticism here and there, she hugged him. So why do you think now that whenever you sin against God, God will now call the devil to punish you? It doesn't work that way. There is a reason why this is, this is to the old women now. There is a reason why God placed Adam to sleep and made the woman out of the rib of adam i'm going to be touching on this on my other um posts most likely right there are characteristics of the rib amongst which is to give frame to the body of a man oh are you seeing it now meaning your wife as a woman you should be able to cover your husband give your husband structure give your husband the right frame Another characteristic of the rib is to protect delicate organs. Protect your man. Protect your man. Just like Pastor Teddy protected the wife, men as well. Protect your wives. I love this movie a lot because it speaks so much in volumes. Are we together on this? 
There is no need for marriages to continually be experiencing high level of divorce. Everybody should know their place and be highly supportive of each other. I will always say the reason why marriages in our generation today is going the way it's going is simply because a lot of people have decided to neglect the, the manual, the institutor of marriage. How would you get on this? Let me go back down to Pastor Todd. You can't serve God for the wrong reasons. I like how the scriptures put it. It says, For the Lord knoweth them that are his. Therefore, let everyone that nameth the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. You can't serve two masters at the same time. The Bible also put it this way, it says, For God is not ashamed to be their God. If we do a flip of that scripture in Hebrews, we can see that God is actually ashamed of some people to say they are reckoning with him publicly. Let God be proud of you. It says, He that would speak to me in public, to men about my father, I would also. Come on. Shabali Katabaka. Let God be proud of you. Be in ministry for the right reasons. Serve God in spirit and in truth for the right reasons. Go to church, do your, your contributions to your church for the right reasons. And also in the aspect of contributions, don't give out of understanding. The Bible says, let everyone that praise the Lord, praise the Lord in understanding. Meaning, there are some things that we we'll do in the kingdom of God in the aspect of giving that we must give out of understanding because not all your givings would multiply for you i see it now and i'm praying more and more for these movies that in the name of jesus this taste of sin may it go viral like never before may it have greater impact in the lives of men and women across the nations of the world like never before in the precious name of jesus christ and finally here it is now if God has not condemned you, nobody has the right to condemn you. God is the one who pronounced someone as being holy. He called you, he said, ye, he said, for ye are a holy people. He then came on and said, be ye holy, even as your heavenly father is holy. God is the one that perfects. God is the one that pronounces one as holy. If God has not condemned you, let no one, let nothing condemn you. God bless you. This is Pastor Gideon speaking to you today. God bless you. Bye for now.